you are telling this story this time around. Yes. What was that like in kind of going in and, and, and reliving this character, but in a, a different way? Um, yeah, it was cool. You know, it's pretty rare that you get to revisit, especially in a movie, uh, a character who has been through a lot of loss. And, it, yeah. you know, we didn't really get to see it in the original movie. So to come back and um, be with her while she experiences the death of Leonidas and her grief was interesting for me to come back and kind of refine that. And you look so good in this movie, by the way. You just look, you just look so powerful, and and it's such an awesome role. I think it's become a better role, in a way, than the original film. Like the two characters you're fam famous for right now, Game of Thrones and this, which do you think has more strength? I think they possess, you know, very different strengths. I don't. I think Cersei's one strength is the love for her children. I think that's mm -hmm. what keeps her from falling into the abyss of pure fucking madness. Um, and I think, you know, Gorgo is a stand-up woman, mother, wife, who, who doesn't really question her destiny. She's like, it's accepted, this is part of Sparta, I will die, I'll fight for a glorious death in place of my husband, you know? So we yeah. kind of see her at the end, trying to find her position with this inherited army, you know, and she's kind of on that boat and it's a new beginning for her, you know. Yeah. What is it about this culture? You are, you are wide, I, I would say you're one of the top five actresses in geek culture. What is it about this culture that you 300, even horror, you you know, laid the rest even, you know, you do all these great horror genre films. What is it about the, the genre that you like? I don't, I mean, I don't really, I don't think of, st I don't choose stuff in terms of genre. I don't yeah. think, oh, I'll do this piece. But I, I, I think, you know, it's become acceptable now to love it. So it's got a bigger audience and I, um, you know, these characters that are drawn within the genres tend to, you can have a little bit more fun with them. Yeah. You know, like Cersei, it's, it's, it's rare that you get a woman who is all of those things and more. And, um, and she fascinates me, you know. So, and like Sarah Connor, you know, that's great fun kind of playing, you know, an action mom who's yeah. <laughs> taking care of a kid who happens to be the savior of the world. You know, I, it's like you get these crazy notions and yet, you know, I still am led emotionally as an actor. I didn't go to school, so I know nothing other than to just be. And, you know, I, I think universally these genres touch on war, love, loss, hope, and that, that speaks to all of us. So I'm not really driven by genre. I just think, you know, within that you can create great emotional, interesting characters.